ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு பியூர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் ஆன்லைன் சத்சங் திஸ் ஆன்லைன் மீட்டிங் இஸ் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் டு மீட் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் த ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மேட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஆன்சர் சம் ஆஃப் யுர் கொஷன்ஸ் கிளியர் யூர் டவுட்ஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் எவர் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் யூ இஷ்யூஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு யுவர் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் அண்ட் வி ஆல்சோ டிஸ்கஸ் த ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஆஃப் த ப்ரோக்ராம் ஹியர் ஸோ இஃப் எனிபடி ஹேஸ் எனி கொஷின் most welcome to write it, write it down or they can say it if they want to say it lela is asking in the program that can you please elaborate on uh, what you mean what you meant by the following statement presence of the experiencer guarantees oneness is a very difficult question actually so let me think when i was saying all these things in the lecture there on the video uh there is a context to it there is a context to this sentence that uh, i was trying to say that why is there need of the experiencer why can't the existence be existence without being the experiencer is possible no dead existence nobody to look at it but <laughs> it's not like this it's not like this there is uh, you can say ability or quality in the existence to look at itself that is what we call the experiencer so why is it there that's what i was discussing and uh, i know it's little far fetched kind of thing but uh, the existence is zero dimensional like there is already nothing there this pure possibility only so it is touching itself it is being itself that is all existence is being itself and that is why there is a possibility of experiencing itself in whatever forms so that guarantee is oneness that uh, since there is an experiencer it uh, has to be that which is appearing it has to be that there cannot be a separate experiencer that comes out of nowhere and witnesses the existence so if there is an experiencer it logically follows that whatever there is is one is one only whatever there is is not separated into experience and the experiencer because there is no possibility of the experiencer existing alone or being outside the existence is not possible so i know it is kind of difficult and uh, uh, you can see i am also struggling a little bit to answer this okay so there are some questions arun is saying please share the use of marijuana in daily life i can only share my warning about it don't do it in your daily life and do not use that which damages your mind body or anything else that is that is my advice to everybody you know not only drugs you should stay away from anything that lowers your intelligence and makes your body unhealthy especially substances of all kinds including tea coffee alcohol cigarettes although the path of knowledge never says that this is requirement it never says even a hardcore drug addict can get the self realization the path of knowledge is very powerful so there there are no uh, rules here but uh, the recommendation is if you try to damage yourself well there is no hope for you then <laughs> there is no hope George is saying is there difference between oneness and non duality uh, no there is no difference no difference only thing is that we want to be precise so we say non dual instead of saying oneness we say non dual when we want to be precise that all that can be known is that uh, all there is the reality is the non dual so uh, but we we always you know we we use the word oneness i mean i'm little bit lenient with it but probably pandit will not be pandit is going to object that give me the proof of oneness and so on i don't mind really oneness is very nice beautiful word so in uh, our context they are same but if you want to be precise and you are talking to somebody else who is an expert uh, never use oneness it irritates those people okay some long questions there i'm going to read it bito pan is saying it is said the essence of the phenomena is nothingness void since 
it is not really nothing we have technical word for it we call it emptiness it is based on direct experience and logic is it based on direct experience and logic my experience is whenever there is an experience it has two components one component is created by mind memory and other is the experiencer knower if we consider experiencer as the essence of the experience then it is understood now the question is how can we directly experience the emptiness of an experience or existence how can we conclude emptiness using valid means it is very easy well first question is that is it based on direct experience and logic yes everything on the path of knowledge is based on direct experience and logic otherwise we do not even talk about it strictly speaking so how can we know conclude this emptiness it's very easy you try to find the substrate there try to find a substrate or an substance of the experiencer you know what is the meaning of substance this the word sub means below and stands comes from something which stands standing standing below the foundation it means that on which this thing stands and you will find if you investigate you will find that there is nothing below or above or right or to the right or left front or back of the experiencer it is the essence it is the most fundamental like this and that's why we say, because there are no qualities appear there no qualities at all so we say empty but uh, we cannot uh, uh, call it nothing we don't say it is nothing because obviously it's not nothing it is me it is the experiencer it is one of its category so he is saying i am asking about experience okay no problem so when you look at the experience what do you find pure change where is the change happening in what is the change happening can you answer me bit of pen what is changing can you tell me because when you look at the experience you find only change although we call it vibration and all is it's just models models to explain the behavior of the change what is changing can you tell me or anybody else who wants to answer like when there are waves on the ocean we say the water is changing when like you are listening to me uh, the you can say the air is vibrating the substance is air and or the substance is water right you look at your experience what is vibrating what is changing he says only object is experience yes you do not experience the substrate it's amazing isn't it and then uh, shilpi says experiences keep changing yes experiences keep changing what is it where the change happens arun says experiences changing yes lela says nothing is really changing yeah it's an illusion rajit says difference in memory uh, yes there you say when you say memory you are already in the science you are already in the concepts and all we are looking at the basics when the change happens we say that yes there must be memories where the comparison happened but the memory itself is an experience isn't it so that is self referencing answer which which boils down to that it is changing because it is changing its memory is also coming out of change right that is only a description of the change shree 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 is saying that potential appears to itself as change that is also very good and uh, potential means what it also means that there is no substance there now here the intellect should stop really it is beyond intellect uh, because the intellect cannot grasp that which is changing we've been saying yes we can understand but can we directly experience what do you want to experience directly emptiness the deaf <laughs> yes how will the emptiness appear tell me do you want to experience some kind of blackness or nothingness hmm emptiness means that there is nothing emptiness means that there, there is no substance <laughs> that, is the, that is the trick here when i say it is empty that means that there is nothing to experience when it is experienced it will appear as illusions that is what your when you experience anything at all objects people bodies yourself and whatever you see it is you are experiencing the emptiness only like sandeep said you see 
Rock is me. My nature is rock. It's nature. Whatever you are experiencing right now is emptiness only. What else do you want to experience? Can you tell me? But it looks like you have a conditioning there that everything should be experienced. But I have a surprise for you that nothing can be experienced. It's all empty. The experiencer cannot be experienced. So there goes the fifty percent part. Whatever is changing cannot be experienced. That is the existence itself. There goes the fifty percent. Hundred percent of it is not an experience. What can be experienced is illusion, and like I said, just some kind of manifestation of the potentials. Because there is a possibility there. There is an experience. It's not really changing. Like I said, differences is mem in memory. Yes, it's timeless. It requires time to change something, and now it's not possible to change. So again, it comes out to be nothing. You know, the change is also nothing. George is saying, "Experiencer and the experience are mutually exclusive." That is right. Yes, Arun is saying, "We can be empty." Yes, you are emptiness. Now, how is it possible? How is possible? You can experience the emptiness. There is one more thing that when the experience changes, it leaves nothing behind. Nothing is left behind of the experience. We say that it was made up of nothing. Bitter pain is saying, "May I speak?" Yes, yes. Tell me, sir. Pranam Guruji. Pranam. Am I audible? Yes. Actually, my question is just with that it is based on direct experience or not. Means I am following the lessons and I come uh, I come to know means whatever we whatever is knowledge it it should be based on direct experience and knowledge. That that's why I only ask the question. That is the and I I understand that means emptiness cannot be experienced. So the question is coming. Yes, you're right. The experience is negative. The ex the knowledge that we gain from this experience is negative. We try to investigate the substance or whatever. You know, we we are not expecting things. We simply investigate. Let me find something there, and we come out empty-handed. Like I tried to experience something, but I saw nothing, and the conclusion is that it is empty. So it is based on the experience only. Only that the experience is such that the nature comes out to be the emptiness. Now, if you try to observe the emptiness, no, there is no positive experience. There is no positive knowledge of the emptiness. So it is both. You can say it is both experience and logic. When we when we go and investigate nothing, then the, then the logic comes and says, "Let me name it as emptiness." That is what we do here. Okay. Yes, never try to never try to experience these things. It's not possible. Only the illusion can be experienced, and then drop it as illusion, false. Nothing else can be known. Only your ignorance can be dropped. But it's not a bad news, like he said. You know, it's not a bad news. You can be that emptiness. Good congratulations. You see, you are empty. <laughs> A so lot, lot of things are gained by that, isn't it? No, nothing is gained. Nothing is gained. You become empty. If you gain something, something is wrong. It was a nice satsang, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Everybody got their answers, and hopefully you are enjoying the program also. And I'll meet you next time. Thank you very much for att attending the meeting. <laughs>